Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of my cryptocurrency series. Today I'm going to talk about a project that's already launched a few months ago and it's called Dot Moves. The reason I'm wearing this is because I'm a big football fan and this project is related to football. And play to earn is a big topic right now in August, and a lot of play to earn projects are uh, growing very rapidly. So the reason I wanted to talk today is this project actually was going under the radar for a few months, and now it's coming back again into the hot market. And it's a good time, I guess, to discuss about it. The project has been featured in many places like Forbes and incubated by Moonra Capital, Morningstar Ventures, and it has a very promising team behind it. Let's have a look of what's going on and what problem they're trying to solve. So the basic problem they're trying to solve is at the moment, it's very difficult for people who are in lockdown to do competition, right? In, in the COVID period. And how can we, if I'm sitting here in Australia, how can I do a competition with someone, for example, in Africa? How can I monetize that if I want to make a challenge with them, especially if I'm an athlete, if I'm at home? So First thing they're addressing is physical and geographic limitation, how to monetize that. So if you're not sponsored, you know, by Nike or Adidas or some big companies, how can you monetize yourself? And the last thing is assessment of skills. How can you fairly assess the skill sets that you have? Because if it's by voting, it might have some bias. And if you have AI and artificial intelligence, that's what I mean. It's going to help you a lot in the assessment as a fair referee. So that's what they're trying to solve to become the first cryptocurrency in this space that's tackling all this problem at the same time. They have an arbitration engine, peer-to-peer challenge to monetize with cryptocurrencies, and they have an advanced computer vision algorithm. So in, within the application, they have an anti-cheating mechanism. You can challenge people, and they have a matchmaking mechanism. I can't give too much detail because they're going through their product right now. But to summarize for you uh, and what I can share is basically think of it as you can record yourself uh, playing football or doing some tricks with the ball. Record it the same way you do on TikTok or any other um, platform. And then once you do the record, you can compete with other people using the same platform. And because you've already got a score and you've got it, already got assessed by the AI system, you would be compared to that person in terms of competition. And you're using the move token, which is the native token of dot moves to receive rewards. So the winner will take rewards. That's how you basically challenge with other people. Um, they're also going to launch for other sports like tennis and basketball. So it's not only limited to football, but because I'm a football fan, that's what I'm covering today. In terms of their market, they're projecting that by 2027, the technology for sporting is going to reach 65 billion US dollars. And for AI, that's going to be 3.3, which to me, it makes sense. It's a small part of that 65 billion. And I don't know how long we're going to be in lockdown, but even after lockdown, we like to compete in our own backyard. We're not um, professional Olympic athletes, and we do like competition with other people. So they're comparing themselves to Strava, Huddle, Sports Code, Peloton, and Home Court. And obviously, the key difference here is that they have a cryptocurrency NFT market, and the others don't have that. Um, you only need a smartphone camera. You're open to everyday athlete. And they have an AI video referee, which makes it more interesting and fair. So you can see that's the mission statement, and that's what makes the project different from the other projects. Now, in terms of the token, the token has a lot of utility, actually. So before we jump into the pricing section, you can um, conduct matches and tournaments between yourself and different people, like in a, as a solo team or party or make a group tournament, and the winner gets the prize pool minus the organizing fee. They have leagues. You can have leagues to challenge other people, and they have rewards for participation. Even if you lose, think of it as uh, loyalty rewards. And then if you're a consistent athlete, regardless of winning or losing, you have ranking system and uh, you sometimes get NFTs from this platform. So not only you get tokens, sometimes you also get NFTs. And the platform also is used to charge fees and the fee sometimes is distributed between the pool of people who are staking and supporting the project. 
So you can see, regardless of the fact that if you're an athlete or if you're just uh, an investor, you're still going to make benefit because they have liquidity, they have staking mechanism, and they have NFT rewards. In terms of the, the pricing when they launched, this was launched towards the end of May, early June. Uh, they've got a circulating supply of $1 billion, the total. Initial market cap when they launched was uh, around uh, $800,000 and public sale, they had 40 million tokens, which increased now, it's already three, four months later. The public sale price was at um, 0 0.004 cents, so not less than half a cent. And they had private sale at 0 0.003. The private sale had 20% of their token unlocked on token generation event, and now they're receiving 20% every, every two months. So there is a fair locking, and the team and advisors have the token fully locked for the first year, and then quarterly release from the second year. They also have liquidity and ecosystem funding, and they have a foundational reserve. So there's a lot of ways for participants to make uh, take advantage and make benefit from this project and also support the project. In terms of uh, teams and ambassadors, that's something I'm really interested to show because they, they started actually with good ambassadors. So with the NFT farming, um, you can see here Luis Figo and Ricardo Quaresma in their team. And the, the reason is that they are actually ambassadors for this project. So Luis Figo um, for those of you who might be new to football or uh, a different generation, was one of the very big stars in football in early 2000, played for Real Madrid and Portugal, currently has 3.3 million followers on Twitter and 1.3 million followers on Instagram. It's probably more. This is an old deck. Charisma is a current football player in um, Portugal national team, and he also has a good following. And I, I can't imagine more players joining this as an ambassador soon, so, but they made a very good start with having these two in their team. And uh, I'll show you later, but they're quite active actually in advertising the project. The team has a good background. So uh, Pedro is an AI specialist. Salome is a biomedical engineer. Ricardo is a experienced marketing in the tech industry. Gonzalo is a data scientist. And Guilherme is a data scientist, again, in AI. So it does make sense because this project is an AI project. It needs data. It needs a fair methodology to assess competition. And it needs biomedical engineers to also see the dynamics of movement of people during competing with each other. So I think the team has the right skill set. That's great. And they have a good backing of projects as I mentioned before, and they have uh, projects like Exceed Me, which is a gaming project behind them. In terms of social media, which is the next area of interest to cover in this video, they've got around 25,000 followers. But what I like is they keep, keep on going with news. Every day you see something happening. Every day you see a new, new information. And this one, Luis Figo, he's doing a giveaway. It's, it's live now. So if you go to their page, he's doing a giveaway, early access to the application because now they're doing the beta testing and giving access to some people to start competition, start the challenge um, and maybe and uh, start with football, doing some tricks. So you can sh share the post and follow uh, at dot moves to be, maybe be one of the people. So having Luis Vigo is definitely a good news to have. And they keep announcing partnership with different projects, announcing new NFTs, new mechanisms um, to improve their system. Next topic I wanted to cover is the pricing. Pricing is for this is actually a very interesting topic. So when they launched, I remember they launched, and this pricing may be inaccurate, to be honest. Uh, I've been with this project longer, so CoinMarketCap may not be showing the whole story. You might need to go to CoinGecko. So when they started, they launched at the 00 0.4 and they 10 x 10 times higher within a few days. And then slowly they, they started facing the crypto crash or mini crash that we had for two months. And the price came back to the IDO price of 004 actually in June. And 
moving forward from July, because they were continuously building, regardless of the market movement, they were focusing on the product, which is what you want a team to do. They started slowly going up, even up until July, which is last month, they still were not going significantly. But um, around August and with gaming, play to earn, Axie Infinity and other projects, they also started to get traction slowly. But where they started getting more traction was last week when they announced their beta and access to their system. So people know that there's a product happening and there is a potential to utilize this project. And you can see it went all the way to even um, eight cents, nine cents for a uh, few hours. And then it's coming down now to stabilize in around four cents. And at four cents, the fully diluted market cap is around 46 million. But I think I, I can't quote here because I don't have access, but at 10 times, maybe around 12 million is the market cap. Between 10 to 12 million is the market cap right now. Uh, without being fully diluted, which is, I think, a healthy price to have considering the projects like Axie Infinity or other gaming projects. So Axie Infinity, $74, market cap of $4 billion, fully diluted of $20 billion. That's insane amount of money in this project. And um, they're still growing. They're still going up and down. Um, so what, $4.5 billion. Even if this project is 1% of that, you can imagine um, how much money would be in this. So 45 million right now and fully diluted 1%, again, 200 million. So there is a lot of upside potential for this project. Um, if you're interested to know more, I'm gonna share all the links and description for this project. They have a very supportive uh, group on Telegram as well. I'm going to put the link. And if you're interested to buy um, on their website, they actually put the address for the contract. So you can buy it on uh, Uniswap for Ethereum. You can also buy it on PancakeSwap. So you don't need to use the high gas fee on Ethereum. You could use Binance Smart Chain to buy it on a cheap gas fee. And these are the contract address. Uh, I don't want to comment about exchange listing here, but uh, there are some plans. So if, if they launch, you can also use that for purchase. But overall, um, I'm very interested to see in comments what do you think about this project? Because it's a smart project having AI, blockchain, and NFT. And it's not too late to you know, ride this train with us. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Put in comments what you're interested in my next video to cover. And I see you next time. Thank you.